Hey guys, welcome back to Minimum Discount Properly and today we are going to be doing things a little differently as we are going to be rating the Elite 4 and Champions of the different regions. So welcome back to another video of rating with Kappa but unfortunately we can't use numbers to rate people apparently since that's not very nice. So we are going to use a different chart which I created completely based on what I felt like were nice ways to rate them going from pathetic to perfect and uh, well we'll see who fits where depending on how strong they look or how cool they look or whether they make you wet your pants because they're supposed to be the strongest of the region and if they don't do even that then what are they really worth being in the elite for we're also going to see if they match their type if they really do specialize in one and uh, surprisingly i could only cover three regions in this first video who knew i had more to talk about people than about small animals anyway let's get right into it so let's begin with Kanto or Kanto damn it I always mess these pronunciations let's get into it with Kanto and um, it had a pretty simple elite four so but there is a lot to talk about them too um, simplicity in human beings is pretty cool so let's begin with Lorelai and she's a 10 on 10 wood bank uh, I mean she's she fits into the semi perfect category sorry for the number there um, Lorelai looks very powerful she looks like a teacher but the strict one and she's still got style she has confidence and she looks just like every ice type would pretty cold and uh, rigid about her things but also well ready to change if she has to she looks amazing aesthetically and um, she does fit her role according to me next let's get into Chuck I mean Bruno sorry that guy looks like Chuck well okay Bruno this guy is pretty big he's pretty buff confident and he, he kind of looks like a fighter, although his type isn't even uh, really understood by Pokemon themselves. They keep getting him confused, but I still give this guy a grade. He looks pretty powerful and confident, agreed, but he looks more like the guy who'd go and meditate in the falls rather than, the person, uh, rather than a person who'd want to sit in the Elite Four and wait for the champion. Looks like he'd be more into his training than battling you. Anyway, next we go to Agatha, or Agatha and she's another great one, according to me. The Agatha looks strong, wise, and sinister. That means she kind of suits her ghost type role or poison type, whichever it was. She also looks like she knows her shit, but she's ready to listen to you. She's not too arrogant about her knowledge, um, just enough because she's powerful enough. Therefore, she's a great in my eyes. Next, we reach Lance or Lance. Lance, well, he was such a downgrade from the rest of the Elite Four. He goes into the possible section from me. He doesn't really look like a symbol of power. He does look like a dragon type with his costume or whatever he's wearing with the cape and stuff. But he looks more like that shonen protagonist because his hair stands out and so you can spot him from the back of your classroom. But not the type of sh shonen protagonist that, uh, that's pretty overpowering. Um, he looks more like the shonen protagonist who gets beaten up every second episode before he can stand up with the power of friendship to uh, luck have a lucky land of a punch in your face. So Lance doesn't really look like a symbol of power to me unfortunately and he fits just impossible. Next we get to Blue. Blue the champion was a pleasant surprise. Who would have seen your own rival come to you as champion? I love his music. It's the most chaotic and my favorite champion music out of all of them. And Blue gets a semi-perfect beyond this too. He's arrogant. He's your own age. and. Or despite you having beaten him so many times, he raced you at the end of it. He beat you to the race, um, whether you admit it or not. And he believes in his power, but um, the thing, I mean, what makes him different from other arrogant characters is he's not consumed by his power. He just believes in it enough to know that he's pretty strong, which he pretty much is. And also the fact that his hair color is clearly not matching his name nor is his attire shows that he's a mixed type guy, so he even fits the role of not fitting into a single type. That's for Blue with the semi-perfect. And now that we're done with Kanto, let's get into Johto. So Johto's league was just a political takeover of the Kanto league. It's the same old Indigo league, except they're new people and some old ones. We won't rate the old ones if they have the same rating here, because that'll just be a waste of time. Let's begin with Will though. Will fits into good for me. Johto's uh, Elite 4 wasn't the most surprisingly good one and just like many other features it just relied on Kanto to be good so Will just fits into good. He looks like he tries too hard to stand out with the mask and all that stuff. He looks overdressed honestly 
He does look psychic type enough, obviously, like a magician, and he looks cool, but he fits more into the mid boss character uh, category. I won't really make look at him and be like, ah oh, shit, that's Will. Next we get to Koga, and Koga directly falls into the subpar category. There's nothing about Koga that stands out, he's a ninja, and he looks just like a subordinate would. He looks like he's willing to follow orders, and that's not what you want from your leaders. He looks like um, they didn't have any uh, one else to fit in the new elite four, and therefore they found a replacement. He does kind of look like a poison type, but also maybe a dark type, because ninja. And he looks more like a mob character. He doesn't look like he has a will. Get it? Okay. Next, we move on to Karin. And Karin is another 11 on 10 wood bat. I mean, she is perfect. Okay, Dorin Lai may have been semi perfect, but Karin is perfect. And she's the. Uh, or the Karin is perfect. She's the only Karin who's so perfect. And Dark type, yup, she's got that in her checklist. She's got style, she's got strength, and the arrogance to match up to that strength. She looks very open, like the type of person who'd tell you on your face that you're a piece of shit on your first day. And she has the pose too. Man, she has everything. And even that famous dialogue which inspired so many of us to do something in our lives. Well, maybe not you, but me definitely. The fact that you don't need good Pokemon to be strong. Or rather, good and bad Pokemon are just weird tags we've put to them. Anyone can become strong with the Pokemon they like if they tried hard enough. And that's what inspired me all these years. Or maybe a few more things, but still. So, Ka Karen gets a perfect from me. Um, okay, next we move on to the champion. I did skip on Bruno because he's a repeat. But the champion gets a downgrade. Well, if he hardly fit into the Elite Four character as possible, why do you think Lance would get any better now? He just gets worse because his character is copied here. He's a subpar character for the champion's role. He looks like a puppet champion. Just like Koga looked like a replacement for the Elite Four, this guy looks like a replacement as champion. Just uh, He just looks like he's carrying out a responsibility. He's not passionate about being champion. Maybe he looks a little diligent, just like every shonen protagonist. But that's about it. Lance, in my uh, in my opinion, is one of the most forgettable champions. Anyway, next we move on to Hoenn. And Hoenn had a great Elite Four and champion. It's uh, so good that I think it provides good competition to Kanto. They all look pretty strong. So let's get right into it with Sydney. Sydney does look like a dark type. That's the aura he uh, emits immediately when you see him. He looks arrogant. He has that smirk. He has that punk look. And therefore, he fits into the grade. He looks pretty strong, um, and he looks like he'd bash you up if you don't listen to him like the class bully. But um, he doesn't really look evil as such. Maybe he has a good um, nature by heart, is what he looks like. And well, that's about it I have to say about this guy. Next, we move on to Phoebe. Uh, Phoebe. Okay, so Phoebe uh, is good. She's the least... Uh, yeah. She stands out the least amongst this elite four, with not many uh, features fitting someone of power. She looks like a kid, she kind of looks whimsical and uh, mischievous, which, which does fit the ghost type role, but maybe not much of the strong. She kind of looks strong, like she'd bash you up if um, you kind of triggered her, but uh, well, not too confident and she doesn't look like she cares much about her role in the elite four. So she just passes off as good. Next, we move on to Glacia though, and Glacia, my god, is another great. Um, she looks like Ice type immediately. She looks like the icy witch who uh, wears gloves because not because she's feeling cold, but maybe because she has some hidden powers in there. She looks like a noble, so she's all she's also got that cold personality. She looks strong too, and uh, she does. The only reason I keep her in great, however, is that it kind of looks like her power is only revealed when you provoke her and not something she would want to um, exude by herself. So she looks more like the type who'd keep to herself and she does look like she can look down on you but she looks like she could have give, been uh, given more potential if she tried a little harder. Next, we move on to Drake and Drake is a good ending for the Elite Four. When we come to Drake, he looks pretty great. Uh, so he fits in great, and uh, he looks strong. So uh, that's about it. He looks like a, uh, he looks pretty draconian. Sorry, I mean uh, he looks like a dragon type, a bit prejudiced maybe, and he may look down on you too much and underestimate your strength because he's kind of that old guy who says, "Ah, I've seen it all," and isn't really 
willing to uh, be open to new things unlike Agatha but he still looks pretty strong overall and maybe that arrogance comes with some power although he doesn't rise above the ranks of great just because of this. Anyway, let's move on to the champion and this region had two champions. So, for our first champion of Hoenn, we've got Steven Stone, the man himself with the grey hair. He looks pretty cool, not gonna lie, but not really champion material according to me. Now this may be a controversial take, but I put Steven in just good. I don't think he is too fit to be champion. He's got an aura, he's got his confidence, but he looks a bit too distracted, maybe by that family business that he's been running of Devon Corp, Devon, Devon Corp's uh, corporation, and he's also got a lot of things to handle all throughout Hoenn. Not only that, uh, well, doesn't look like he's pursuing strength, and at the same time, it looks like, well, he could get much stronger if he really tried out for it. Although, I still think that he uh, does look pretty capable, and that's why I get why a lot of you would put him in your second favorites. Anyway, moving on to the better champion, according to me, of Hoenn, that is Wallace in Emerald. Now, a lot of you may think, wh why would you want a type-specific champion? And that's true, but we're just iterating the designs. And looking at Wallace, you can immediately tell he's water type, he's got the style, he's got the confidence, he's got that aura to lead you, and he's got the strength to back it up. Wallace is a perfect champion, he looks unique, his green hair kinda stands out, suits the emerald material, and his hat, he looks like a flowy guy, and uh, he looks like he'd be cool with a lot of things, and he is perfect champion material, well not perfect, but I would like to put him in semi-perfect. So Wallace, you're going pretty high up there. Anyway, that ends my critique for the first three regions of Elite Four and Champions. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed me butchering some pronunciations there. Let me know how bad they were and let me know how many of my takes were completely different to yours. Stay vegan, keep eating your broccoli. See you guys next time.